guys, it's Valerie here. I am standing in our kitchen by the count the, the island and I am getting ready to reseal the bamboo countertop. Uh, about four years ago, we put it in and we sealed it once and I have been delaying resealing for a while. So it has gotten some marks which were left because it was not sealed and so i'll take you closer and let you see what it looks like now because what i will be doing is using a fine grit sandpaper to just scuff out the marks that were left as best as possible and when i'm doing that i'll make sure i go with the grain and not against the grain of the wood because I don't want to leave any marks on the countertop. So check it out. This is what the countertop looks like right now. I'm going to get busy sanding right now. Now I'm just going to use a piece of cloth to clean off all the dust from the surface. I'll use a second piece of rag to make sure I get rid of all the residue on the surface. The countertop is clean and smooth. All the dust residue has been wiped off and it's ready to be resealed. Bear in mind that the resealer that you use or the sealer or conditioner that you use should be food safe because it's in the kitchen, it's a kitchen island. The conditioner that I'm using to condition and reseal the countertop, um, when you seal or condition the first time, you don't need to do it more than once when you do a second conditioning. But because I have not conditioned this countertop for such a long time, I will be doing it twice. So I leave the countertop now to sit for about six to ten minutes maybe I'll do 15 or 20 because <laughs> the length of time doesn't really matter after it passes the required um, minimum time so I'll come back and then I'll do a second conditioner oh, it's time to put my second coat on and I'll be using the same rag I used previously because in so doing the rag won't absorb excess liquid that I'm using to condition the top of the counter. So I'll go ahead and do my second coat. That's it guys, I am done putting on the second coat of conditioner on the island countertop. So what I'll do now is leave it to sit 
until tomorrow morning before I put anything on it. Well, hello guys. It's morning time or should I say it's daytime because it's afternoon so hola bonjour hello we are ready now the countertop is done i left it overnight last night without anything on it and it feels so silky smooth right now and so what i'm gonna do before i put anything on it is i'm just gonna use this new cloth to give it a good wipe down and then I'll just put my stuff on. There it is guys, check this out. Wow, it feels different, it looks different and I am now ready to put my stuff back on. Now I don't keep my countertop too clustered because I we do use it and sometimes we sit there with computers and stuff and use it to eat breakfast sometimes too. I have a family of four, two boys and my husband and so I just keep what I need. So this is to keep my fruits in on the countertop and then this is just a teapot with a creamer and a sugar jar and then something for cakes or cookies on the countertop i just keep it simple three things and that's it the rest of the space is for work space so guys if there are a few things i would say to you if you are um trying to seal your countertop or to condition or recondition your countertop make sure that you get um, a product that is food safe on any countertop that you're going to have food on make sure that it is food safe and before you condition the countertop make sure it is clean of all dirt or dust just make sure your countertop is clean. If it needs to, like I did, just give it a light sanding in areas where you may get a stain or two, just to try to get the stain out. Otherwise, when you're using your conditioner, go with the grain. Don't go against the grain. Go with the grain so you get a smooth finish. And Bob's my cousin. <laughs> it's done and I'm happy. So I'll leave it for another few months now. The next time I recondition it will depend on the use. So if we're using it a lot and it's all worn down and I need to recondition, then I'll go ahead and recondition. Whatever you do, it's always important to make sure that you condition or recondition your wood countertops because they will last longer. Thank you so much for watching the videos. Thanks for supporting the channel. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them below. I like to get all the comments and the questions because they keep me engaged. I want to share and I want to engage with you all. If you're watching this video and you haven't subscribed, go ahead, subscribe. And don't forget to hit that notification bell button so you can be notified of new videos. So you take care and I'll see you for the next video.